So you're topping the golf ball and all your buddies are telling you you're standing up in your golf swing. Okay, that's great to know, but you, what you really wanna know is how the heck do I fix it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm gonna show you how to stop standing up in the golf swing and more importantly, why you're doing it and how you can fix it. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and it's probably one of the most common terms in golf, right, is hey, you're standing up. So what is that, all right? First of all, let's talk about what it is, what causes it, and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So what it is, is let's say I'm, I got my six iron right here, I'm getting ready to hit a golf shot and I stand up, I mean I come out of my posture. Let me just hit one and show you. I'll do it in slow motion so you can see it. I've got good posture. Notice my posture angles. Okay, when I swing, I stand up. See, I, I literally, my body lost its posture angles and I went up, which caused the club to come up and I topped the golf ball. All right, so you didn't tune into YouTube. You're not following me here at US Golf TV and leaving comments and ringing the bell because to tell you that you're standing up, you wanna know how to fix it. All right, well, first of all, the reason a lot of you stand up in the golf swing is because you don't rotate properly. Now, the reason we don't rotate properly is because we don't set up in a way that allows us to just rotate. So one simple thing that you can do to improve your rotation, which will help you stay in posture, not stand up, is just take your toes and just flare them out. So when you're set up in there, if you just flare your toes out 25, 30 degrees, all right, whatever it is, see that? That will free up your hips and allow you to rotate better, okay? If you stand in there and your toes are square, or I've even seen people kind of, I don't know, when I was growing up, they called it pigeon-toed. I don't know where we got that from, but they would kind of stand like this. That locks the hips in, which limits your ability to rotate, and then the only thing you can do, because you're trying to rotate your hips like, ooh, I don't like that. So then it just goes to the next place of least resistance, and it just stands up. So first tip is take your toes, and flare them out a little bit. That's one thing that you can do in your setup, okay, to help you maintain your posture and not stand up. Now, how about a couple swing tips that we could do to help us with that? Well, one of them has to do with the right hip, okay, what we call hip hinge, okay? So I got a belt on right here. I've got the mic box on. You can see that, right? That's why I put the mic box right here because I wanted you to be able to see this angle. When you're set in there, okay, when my belt tips where the back part of my belt is higher than the front part of my belt, see that? You can see the box right there. See the angle of the box? That's what we call hip hinge. This would be hip hinge. This is no hip hinge, okay? So when you're set in there, you have hip hinge. When you stand up, you lose your hip hinge. So people typically think of this problem as like, a head movement, your head's going up. But what's actually happening is you're losing some of your hip hinge. So one of the things that you can feel is, is that you create hip hinge at a dress and as you rotate to the top, you maintain that hip hinge. See that? I've maintained that, I haven't come out of it. Now, by flaring your toe a little bit, I'll make that a lot easier, right? Okay, so here I'm set in there. Got my hip hinge, toes out, I'm gonna maintain that going back. All right, little thin, but actually wasn't too bad. So those are the first couple tips. We've got to maintain some hip hinge, flaring our toes out a little bit will actually help us do that. All right, now, the last thing that I want to share with you that can kind of help this, believe it or not, is your eye line, okay? So how you position your head, okay? When you're set in there, toes are out, you got your hip hinge, simple concepts, right? You know here at US Golf TV, we like things simple. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, right? All right, and ring that bell. So you know when we got new, we got new videos coming out every single week and the family here at US Golf TV is growing like crazy. Comment, put a question in there, agree, disagree, and tell me where you're from. I love hearing where you're from because that's one of my favorite things to look at every time I check out these videos. So let's get back on topic here. How do we stop standing up in the golf swing? Toes out, maintain hip hinge. The last tip, and this is probably the golden nugget, all right, is that I want you to feel like your head is tilted a little this way. See how my head rotates? So my lead ear goes up, my trail ear goes down a little bit, a la Jack Nicklaus, boom. Why is that important? Because when you take your head and you'll tilt it a little bit this way, believe it or not, it actually allows for more rotation which is the key component. If you're standing up, 
you're probably not rotating correctly. So when I take my head and I tilt it this way, that allows me to rotate easier and maintain hip hinge. The opposite to that would be this way. Now my neck is tilted this way, that's going to lock things in and make it more difficult for me to rotate correctly. So let's take it from the top. I'm gonna to get set up here. All right, I got my toes out. That helps me turn my hips. Now that I can turn my hips, I can maintain hip hinge. All right, that's a key component. The last thing is I've tilted my head a little bit this way, so it makes rotation easier. I tie all those couple things together, boom. There it is, most solid shot of the day. So if you're standing up in your golf swing, your buddies are telling you you're standing up, that's great to know, but you gotta know how to fix it. Toes out, maintain your hip hinge, tilt your head a little bit. Those three things right there will help you start hitting more solid golf shots.